What's up guys? Welcome back to Whiskey Website Wednesdays. This is episode 72. My name is Mira. I am the social media manager at Outside the Box. I'm joined by my spiffy dressed co-host Gauche. And today we are drinking the Macallan Quest. This is actually something I picked up on my travels to LA last week and it is exclusive to travelers. It is a collection that you can only get, I guess, at duty free. And there is Lumina and Terra in the collection as well. Um, I got this cause I only had a hundred bucks in my pocket. So okay. <laughs> might as well, right? So Gash is gonna give us the notes while I open the box. I'm very excited to try this. I believe it has like some vanilla-y notes. Well, we'll find out. Uh, there's actually four variants, not three. Uh, there's Macallan Quest, Lumina, Terra, and Enigma. Ooh, they only had three when I was Yeah, Enigma there. is even harder to find. Um, so from what I've heard, uh, like, so Terra is like a little less uh, cost than Enigma. Mm -hmm. but I've heard better things about Terra, uh, Terra than Enigma. This but has Enigma's... a QR code on the side. Well, I wonder if it's like adding Macau on a Snapchat or something. Um, but anyway, it aims to celebrate the distillery's passion, passionate and tireless quest. Oak. Um, they're actually replacing their previous uh, travel retail range, which was actually the McAllen 1824 collections, I believe. Uh, and that included Select Oak, uh, Whiskey Makers uh, Edition, State Reserve. Uh, they all stopped that all in uh, January 2018. I'm sweating. It's okay. Uh, McAllen Quest, uh, it's bottled at 40% uh, alcohol, um, priced at about how much you get for it? Like 80? I actually got it for 80 bucks yeah, US. Right. Yeah, so 80 bucks US for the, the... 20 bucks was for my lunch. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Uh, combines four cask types, so uh, including European and American cherry seasoned oak, American ex bourbon, and hogshead casks. Um, uh, the palette, uh, sorry, the notes, I'll tell you the whiskey maker's notes, uh, at, and then I'll help her. Uh, the color is pale gold, uh, aroma soft citrus fruits, uh, rounded apple with lemon. Uh, vanilla sweetness and subtle oak. Yes, there is a uh, vanilla. From what, yeah, from what I've heard from her and others, there is a heavy vanilla flavoring there. Um, I have no clue why that's that hard. The palate. Um, the palate is apple mixes with ginger and dry fruit, nutmeg and cinnamon soften the fade. Uh, and then uh, it's a great length, soft, light fruit and medium sweet. Um, basically, it does sound like kind of it's up our alley. It is more of their, their basic uh, expression. Uh, it has a 12 year old double cast feel, but also has a, you know, kind of these um, hints of youthful whiskey. It was matured in a combination, like I, I said. I definitely and, uh, loosened she it up. She definitely me. loosened it up for me, guys. Ow. You, you okay? <laughs> they, they definitely put an extra layer of seal, though. That's why. One for the homies? I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why it's, it's okay. pouring everywhere. Um, oh, also, Gauche's birthday's tomorrow. Yay! So we're celebrating with the extra special McCallum. I think the last time it was on the day of my birthday and you guys like maybe take all those shots. Yeah, last time was yeah. on my birthday too. It was terrible. We this year, ourselves. we have to celebrate in advance. Oh. 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 That smells really good. Mm -hmm. I generally enjoy McAllen's. Yeah. Um, I do too. Uh, do you like amber or gold more? Gold. Yeah. Well, cheers. Cheers! Let's see how this tastes before... That is so smooth. Yep, there's definitely not nutmeg. Well, yeah, that's really good. You can tell it's a, a younger whiskey, but it is really good. Uh, vanilla, smooth, it's nice. Today we're gonna talk about uh, content marketing, right? Yep. So uh, Mira is the expert, but we will go on about it. I think she has some information on it, so do I. But first things first, I know we've talked about it like countless times before. Content is king. The next thing that you have to now realize is it's evolving. It's not just about having, you know, a team of writers and just write, you know, writing away blogs. Mind you, blogs will help you, especially on your SEO front and all that stuff. It will help you, but we're not talking about content just for the sake of your SEO. We're talking about content for the sake of growing your brand, for the sake of, you know, getting you what the results that you need to get. Building on what he said, there's so many facets to content marketing, building content, creating content, and spreading content. Um, there's an oversaturation of the amount of information available on the internet at the present moment. So how do you create valuable content that actually stands out? Well, that's the key, creating content that stands out. Um, you don't want to create cookie cutter 
uh, stuff that people have already created before because that's not gonna set you apart. So there's two things that you need to consider, creating quality content and giving your point of view when it comes to that content. Sorry, we ended up taking a brief intermission because we got a client phone call yeah. and it was actually about content. So that was very interesting. <laughs> that was actually a very appropriate call. Um, they wanted. We reference content as king. Yeah, we ah. I, I legitimately just said that. And again, actually in the conversation even with them that we, we mentioned that it's uh, content, even the way you mold it on the website, it's really important, especially with figuring out what your goals are. Uh, if your website is about converting them to paying customers, say you're a renovation company, your content's gonna be formed another way versus if you're a consulting firm that is kind of talking B2B on an enterprise level, you're gonna lay out your information a different way. And that's not the only content that we were talking about in this uh, segment, but that is one part of the bigger equation that we wanted to touch on and then it came up while we were talking <laughs> to you guys. And like Gav said, there's so many different forms of content marketing. Again, I focus on social media marketing, um, so Mine is creating uh, high quality images um, and video content that resonates with our client's audience. Whereas Gauche uh, focuses on uh, copywriting and images and everything that resonates with Google AdWords and getting those leads through uh, his form of content marketing. So there's so many different facets, but what we wanted to touch on was giving you some uh, tools and advice mm -hmm. to get you started with content marketing. So um, we are an agency and we have a lot of tools at our disposal to create all this content. Um, but the first thing that we always start off with and that we advise every client to start off with is what are your goals and who are you trying to reach? What is the purpose of your, um, your strategy? And creating a strategy is ultimately the first step. Now it's implementing your strategy. How do you implement it? How do you create this content? And how do you actually reach your audience? Mm. Um, not everyone has Photoshop. Not everyone has um, a website. Not everyone has everything at their disposal, but there are a lot of free tools to use. For me, in terms of graphic design, I like to use, uh, as a free tool, Canva, Crello, Crello, Crello is it, that's what it's called, C-R-E-L-L-O, and um, those are pretty much all I use for uh, creating content, mm -hmm. but there's also great uh, stock images as well. Mm -hmm. You don't need um, like Adobe stock if you, if you don't want to pay the license. There's Pexels, there's Unsplash, there's... Brain fart. There's more. There's uh, there's there's plenty of tools out there. Yeah. But her point is that like you know graphic design, for example, is a part of your content. It's not just blogs, right? How you gra the graphic design and illustration and editing is part of your content strategy. Video production and editing is a content strategy, which she does as well for a lot of the videos we do for clients. Um, audio editing, production skills. Again, you, if you're doing podcasts, that's content. Um, distributions and then even when I when it comes to me like strategy of development uh, pushing the campaigns management uh, how to manage the content and how to push them the right way all really important things um, it's also figuring out your niche so you with your content will not be able to reach everyone but the goal is to reach your target their goal is to understand who your audience is so um, if we're talking about us, for example, we focus on specific industries, or try to at least. Uh, we do get some clients that are in industries that are not in like the vertical that we're trying to target, but we still welcome everyone, and we know how to we know how to adapt. It's it's also about like even the website, like you know the buyer's journey, and like you know the, the content, like the customer journey is really important, right? So. Like everything from where they land, what maybe they looked at her social media post. Mm -hmm. They like the content there. They click uh, click above or click the link below, and then they click the link below. Now the landing page matters. What's written on the landing page matters. Really realizing what was said on the social media page and connecting those two things mm -hmm. matters. Now you might have a video on that page, landing page that brings them a little bit closer to you as a company. Now they have a little bit more trust. Now they're clicking on maybe a form. A uh, form comes out, maybe they're now on an email list as well. Maybe the email comes to them uh, saying, hey, thank you for signing up. Uh, someone will be in contact with you in the next two days. Uh, in the meantime, we'll be giving you free marketing tips. Now you're getting some free marketing tips through your email. That content is important. Uh, white papers are important. Those are all like very valuable things uh, in the journey that can really help you. Um, again, like what she's trying to say as well as us, as me, is like once you can discover your niche, uh, you want to kind of cater the content to that. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that you want to do is be transparent. Uh, don't bullshit. Um, 
millennials understand when people are bullshitting now because there's so much bullshit out there yeah. you can start to see it it's pretty obvious one of the things that people trust the most are actually other people's recommendations so things like reviews if you're bullshitting it it's not gonna help but if there are real reviews out there they help and that's still considered content um, everything from t everything from top to bottom really nothing works without content and which is why we keep saying content in this so I, if I drive it enough to you guys you'll understand yeah but that's also why influencer marketing is key right now as well mm -hmm. because uh, like I said people trust other people's opinions as opposed to uh, people that are getting paid yeah. specifically to say something like I could be paid to say this that I love McAllen but not actually believe that I love McAllen yeah. only because I'm getting a thousand dollar check to say I love McAllen so but we, we legit do. We do. We do like. We do actually. They don't pay us. This is actually a really good McAllen. And if you get the chance to buy it, I actually. I, I, I really like this one. I really want to try the Terra one as well. I should fly back to, do you want me to fly back to LA? Just to get Terra? Yeah. yeah. It's good. This, these were just like a, a bunch of spitball tips and advice that we can give you based on content marketing. Um, we don't want to run this too long, but if you do have specific questions for your particular uh, brand uh, marketing strategy, you are more than welcome to connect with us. Just wanted to add like one more thing that she really pushes a lot as well, live content. Uh, live content like Insta Stories, uh, Snapchat it's not so much because they've taken a huge hit. But Insta Stories, any live content is actually amazing because it lets a person connect with the person. Uh, as long even this, even though this is not this used to be live, but um, even that like it's really important that uh, people get a connection with you as well as uh, people are more interactive in the sense. I'm big on the human aspect of social huge. media, um, and when Gauch is writing copy for ad ads and stuff like that, he's big on the humor. So connecting people on that emotional level whether it's humor or um and stuff like that if if i if i can give you one tip for your marketing play on the human and emotional aspect because that's much better than saying buy our product it's the best no one's going to believe you everyone always believes their product's the best but there's obviously a lot more but uh, again we just want to give you a brief in window and mm -hmm. most of all just diversify yep uh, just be on many as many platforms as you can like don't stretch thin where you can't manage it but as long as you have the team and that's ready to do it, put content on as many platforms as possible and cater it to each Focus uh, on the quality. Uh, yeah. Don't just push it for the sake of pushing it. Don't push the same content to each one. But if you can get on each platform and cater the content, you're, you're amazing. And, and we focus on consistency, but we also yeah. focus on quality. So yeah. yes, posting on social media at least once a day is important. But if you don't have anything to post and you're just posting just because you need to, there's no point because mm. it's not going to resonate with your audience. Create quality content that resonates with your audience and that's the gist of content marketing in a bubble. Yep. Yes. So verdict on the whiskey, I love it. I'm yeah. going to actually um, use this sparingly and not drop it over the table anymore. Um, and it's going in my... Yeah, it's a, it's a really good whiskey. Yeah. The um, other ones actually, um, I didn't buy them because they were a little bit more oaky. and. Uh, oh. A little bit more. I think Terra. I mean, just feeding. just from the sound of Terra, it probably is really okay. But um, yeah, um, I probably one day will try it. Yeah, very happy with this. So again, if you have any questions about your content marketing or marketing strategies in general, uh, if you need any ideas or just want to talk to us about our favorite whiskeys or uh, Avengers, um, mm. <laughs> be sure to email us at think at outside the box .com. Again, this is Gauche. His birthday is tomorrow, so you can uh, leave a comment below wishing him happy birthday. And my name is Mira, and we hope you guys have a productive day.